Barry Gray joins me in the studio, manager of Cliftonville, Irish Cup final pending this Saturday against Coleraine. Will you be glad to actually get there, Barry, and get the match kicked off and get on with it all? We will, Ivan. Everyone around Solitude at the minute is looking forward to it. There's a massive, massive hype and it's building the closer we get to the final. Um, I think for me and the players, it's a case now. We just want to get on with the game and see where it leads us. But, you know, you can't dismiss all the preparations that need to go into it and all the people that's involved to get us there. So we're looking forward to it and it's slowly but surely coming coming closer. Now, I take it you got a new suit as well. It wasn't just the players. Your coaching staff got suits too, did you? <laughs> yeah, everyone has suits. I have, um, I have two suits. Right. One for the line and one for the for the pre match and the suit that's on the line on the day will be the same one that I've worn every game yeah. in the run into it. So not that we're superstitious but we just won't be changed it just in case. No, well that's fair point. Uh before you came to Cliftonville, had you any idea how obsessed the club was as a whole uh with winning the Irish Cup? No, not in particular with the Irish Cup, to be honest, Ivan. I think it's no, it was no surprise or no shock when you say obsessed. Everyone around Cliftonville, the fans, the supporters, everyone involved in the club, that's one word that perfectly describes everybody involved. And it's a great, it's a great description as far as I'm concerned. Um, I don't know what the bigger word would be to describe the relationship that the supporters in particular have with the Irish Cup or the want for an Irish Cup, should I say. Um, but listen, it doesn't play on us. We have a job to do. We'll go out and try and do it, and hopefully we can break that 39-year ban. Yeah, it's interesting that none of the players were born. In fact, you weren't even born the last time Cliftonville won the Irish Cup. So, you know, it's long overdue, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's it's surprising that a club of Cliftonville stature and how successful that they have been over many years um, has never got their hands on the Irish Cup in the, in that period. Obviously, we just want to be the manager, the manager and the and the players that we want to be the ones that lifts it and breaks it, and that's all we're focused on. The history boys, as it were. What about Coleraine? They're very difficult opposition. It's it looks like it could be a classic cup final. Well, we would hope so. We'd hope so for everyone involved. Um, you know, Coleraine has had a fantastic season. There's no, there's no taking that away from them. Um, we've had a very indifferent season for different reasons, but when it comes to cup football, if you look at our record so far in the Irish Cup, it's been immense this season. So, you know, we expect a very tough fixture on the day. But for us and for Cliftonville, it's about concentrating on what we do and what our strengths are. And we have no doubt, and we certainly don't fear any team that we'll play in the final. And, and not to take anything away from Coleraine, they've had a great season, but. For me and for the players, it's all about Cliftonville. Yeah, and I mean, I would imagine on the day, whenever you've delivered your team talk and you and the players walk out onto that pitch, we already know that it's going to be a big, big crowd because they've sold <coughs> something over 14,000 tickets, I believe. Uh, it's going to be a big day all the furore of a cup final occasion and that surely is a great motivating factor for the players. They're going to go, I want to win this. It will be, Ivan, yes. Um, the, you know, it doesn't matter how many people are sitting in the seats around us. We we have a chance for silverware um, and that's, that's massive to me and the players and that's what we're concentrated on. It's very easy to be motivated by the big crowds it's also very easy to get caught, you know, in the limelight of it all and not concentrate on what we are there to do, which is just to win a football match this minute. So basically what you're saying there is, boys, go and play the match, not the occasion. Listen, I've been on record and the players have heard me say, don't, don't be afraid to bask in it. You know, it, it is a unique situation. It's a unique, unique opportunity. Irish Cup finals are massive as far as I'm concerned. And you've got to enjoy that. You know, don't switch off it. Don't play it down. Don't do anything else that we shouldn't do. You know, embrace it. It's such a, it's such a, you know, important, pivotal time for us 
in where we are as, uh, as the Cliftonville team. And listen, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind whatsoever that we can win it. You know, my 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 job is to make sure that the players stay cool and calm on the day and they go and deliver the performance that I know they can give. Yeah, you in recent months, you've really sort of consolidated <laughs> and you're starting to be more consistent now. Earlier in the season, you'd said to me, we're fine for a few games and then we drop off. And the, But of late, you have been going out and doing the business at a consistent level. So you must take great encouragement from that. We do. I mean, listen, this year's the transition year for us. We make no mistakes about saying that. Um, we are the only team and only manager you know, in the top six that's had to do what we've done this year, which is build a new team, build a new squad, build a new ethos and a club with a brand new management team. You know, If you look at the other top five managers in the round us, um, they they haven't had to do that. They've had you know we've taken a major players, restructured the team completely in the summer, and when you do all that in one batch, it's always going to take time. It's always going to take a lot of energy and a lot of commitment and drive and work to get us to where we are today. But you know, full credit has to go to the players. They have had to adjust completely over the last nine months in particular, and we've seen some of that adjustment settle down and come into situations where we've seen more consistency in our performances, more consistency in our team selection and certainly more consistency in our results. Uh, it, on the cusp of the Irish Cup final, final question, it's probably an unfair one, but have you enjoyed it? Everyone has, Ivan. Me, the management team, the players, everyone when they sit down at 5 o'clock on the 5th, of May, I can guarantee you we'll all answer it the same way. It's been a, an immense season um, for very different reasons. There has been a huge amount of work both on and off the pitch from the club and the players from the management team. And hopefully on Saturday the 5th we'll get the reward that's just. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that uh, you're all enjoying it. You're all in it together and we wish you nothing but well. Barry Gray, thank you. Thank you.